how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing good. I hope you've enjoyed that weekend. That victory on Saturday, absolutely amazing. Now it's time to move on and talk about St. Mirren on Wednesday night. Sadly, it's not on Sky Sports. F you Sky Sports for not showing ourselves, which you said you would a few weeks back. But the rescheduled game, they're not willing to put the time into it. And sadly, BT don't have the SPFL rights anymore. They only have the domestic cups. So... We're not going to have it. The only way you're going to watch the Celtic game, it's available on St. Mirian TV on their website. £12.50. So get on like a car bonnet, as you would say. But we're going into this game optimistic, you know. The boys are starting to get it together. 3 4 2 was played the other day up in the Highlands. Five goals from it as well. You know, Duffy getting his debut goal. Turnbull getting a bit of snip forty in football as well. So we're going into this like really good at confidence. Look, at St. Mirren, not going to be a rollover. They're seven in the league at the moment. Um, obviously, they're missing their keeper because the keeper is self-isolating. But they have no positive tests today. So it looks like the game is still going to go ahead. Seven in the table, two wins, three losses. So um, interesting time. I don't think it's going to be walking the park with this one compared to Ross County. I think they will put under us a lot of pressure. It has been a tough place to go in recent years for Celtic going over to Saint going over to Paisley. It's gonna say Saint Paisley. We might as well be a Saint if he wrapped the leg up there like Love Street back in the day. So um me starting lineup, not much changes from Saturday. Oh it's keep Barcass and goal. No question about it. Kept Celtic in it the other day when we were up two 0 A couple of crucial saves. A few um a few dodgy mistakes album but you know what I was very impressed with him very impressed with him I've been impressed with him since he came into the club so Barkas in there he's just finding his feet he's finding his defence barking the orders con controlling his box it'll be a matter of time especially going into this game next month against them so we'll see Um, the defence won't change Duffy controlling the right hand side of the box Julian in the middle and then Oyer so it gives the role Rome for Oyer to push up with the ball. Duffy pushing up the ball. What we've learned about Duffy so far is he's very commanding. Go pass with the ball. Him and the two boys will be pushing up for corners. They'll be up there causing threats for corners. We'll have Jeremy Fringpong on the right. Right mid, you could say. Wing back. On the left, James Forrest. When you look on the formation with James Forrest playing left wing back, what the hell is this all about? He was absolutely brilliant the other day. You can't take away that he was class against Ross County. Even in the previous game against Motherwell, I know he didn't play in that position. He's starting to show for, starting to get back to there. He's starting to show that he's James Forrest of what we want. So mid, midfield it would be kind of I would change it around. So I would actually rest Scott Brown. As much as I love Scott Brown, I always pick up for him. I'd rest him in this game, even put him on the bench. Bring David Turnbull in. Look at Davey deserves a chance. As I said um, in previous videos, this guy's coming to the club. We don't want him as a bench warmer. If he was going to be a bench warmer, he could have just given a go at Motherwell for the whole season. So get Turnbull in there with Mac McGregor. Obviously, they linked up the other day. Turnbull came on the second half, had a few passes with McGregor, a few set pieces. So um, I want to see them two boys featuring in there with Olivier. I would start New Cham. I thought New Cham was very good the other day. Obviously, he got a couple of assists as well, providing for all his goals. And the Cham in there, then up front, has to be a Yeti and Edward. Yeti's still not full fit yet. The fitness levels is not fully there. Match fitness, like the full 90 minutes. But he was very good the other day. He took his goal quite well. His walk off the ball was quite good, causing a threat to the Ross County defence. And he scored in a couple of games before prior to this as well so that as we're out up front but I'm like Alton Edwards one of my best mates thinks that Edward can score 50 goals this season it's a hard one to call I think he could he has the capability to do it why not you know Edward up front then penalties are class the way he's doing them so Edward in there strong bench for obviously yeah, I was going to say Bruni in, on the bench if people are going to say why would you rest the captain because I think Duffy's experience in McGregor it's for these boys to learn the ropes and go to team through these tough games. So, rest Bruni. Um, Sorrow on the bench. Christy on the bench. Could be a chance of Lee Griffiths featuring on the bench. 
Clamada could come on and bang another goal over in Paisley could happen. We could see um strong ass bench and um hopefully Big Town could be back. Al Hamid could be back as well. Rodic, we could see. Obviously Mikey Johnson's still out, so um overall I think we're gonna win this. I'm predicting 3 0 Celtic. I think um overall I think we're gonna cause a massive threat with the set pieces in the corners. I'm very optimistic that Duffy could do another one. Really believe he can. I think Kamala might come up with a goal. I'm gonna fancy Edwards. So 3 0. I said change the midfield around. We have so many good mid midfielders there that we can rotate around and give any team a get a game, you know, especially Christy coming off the bench. Christy might start. He has a good record against same rearing away in Paisley, so we'll see. We'll see. Let us know your prediction, Tim's. Hope you enjoyed the video. V Viva Palestine. Had to get it. And I had to put the Love Street in the background. Obviously, good my memories in Paisley as well. So, speak to us all soon. Hell, hell. And don't forget to subscribe.